All right, you guys, welcome to video eight. Uh, I think we're in year number seven in building this. It could even be year eight as far as building this mansion. And if you've been following along, um, you're extremely patient and I appreciate that. Um, but I did say it was gonna take me a long time. Um, if it wasn't for a lack of time, it would be finances because um, I have a few hobbies that, um, well, they're expensive and this is one of those. Anyway, we're gonna get into this actual build that we've done or we've been working on. And by we, I mean me and my multiple personalities. So we're gonna start here with um, all these red flowers and these trees, some of which are from my childhood. And this is just me tinkering and playing because what you see here as far as the yard being done, there's not gonna be anything more. I mean, there's some stuff done as when we go around the front of the home that you'll see, but. This is really my workbench, and this is where I build and set things up, and I, I just don't need yard stuff in the way, so this will more than likely be removed, but it was just me tinkering and utterly shocked at how many of these large red flowers I have, and this is literally only a quarter of what I found. Anyway, let's walk down here like we're a Lego minifigure. We're gonna stop and check out the pink frogs, because I think they're cute. And we're gonna look at these two standing here. And he is the captain for Titanic. And I say that because he's the minifigure that has the ship around his waist. Um, and I guess somewhere subconsciously, I must like these rounded entryways because here we are with these pieces that echo what's on the front entryway. And that was not done deliberately. Um, I just liked how it looked, but we're gonna pass. We're gonna pass. We're gonna continue past these two, and we're gonna look at the water fountain behind them, and see that it's lit up from the water part, um, as well. Actually, you know what? We need to move you two. There we go. That's better. Now you can see the fountain and how it's lit up, and then we're gonna continue up the staircase. And we're gonna run into her. And yeah, she's, this house is clearly from, my intent is the early 20th century and she's probably from a century before that. But that's not the point. I think she's cool. I like her. Um, so she may not stay with the home, but I like the hair. I love, I mean, that, that, that dress is just huge. Um, anyway, we're going to continue along in, and here, you know, we're going to snag her and put her over there with the others. And that way we can continue along and look at what's going on here. These flower pots that are on both sides of this turned out really nice. I love the colors that Lego is coming out with um, these days. And speaking of colors, look at these flower beds and how lit up they are. There are lights that can underneath there to light up the trees. Um, let's turn off the big lights and come back in here can't leave it completely dark, but it gives you a better idea of the flower bed. And also if we come down here, you look at the different heights of the trim for the flower bed as well. That turned out really, really nice. Um, and then we're gonna continue down. Actually, we'll do that with the lights off. Um, this flower is lit up. And I am about symmetry. So these flower beds are gonna look the same on both sides. I have this green here to represent the grass that's gonna be out here. Um, there is gonna be um, a walkway from here and it continues down. And as we continue along here, we're gonna come over here to a man door that leads into the cellar. And here we are at this side of the home. The lights are not in, and that will be finished here once this piece, which is the cellar, 
which I will throw some still pictures in um, to show. What it's really like in there because it's hard to get the camera in there because I did my typical I kept building and um, anyway but these will be lit up here we are with symmetry we have this flower bed and this flower bed lit up these this light set is not turned on but one of my um, mistakes I realized after all this was built was I forgot to put, I put tin foil around the lights to help control the bleeding of the light through the bricks and that didn't happen. So you can kind of see where the bricks end up lighting up there. But this side I did get the, the tin foil in there so the bleeding is, is a little more controlled. Come back up here and actually let's turn on the big lights again. We're gonna come up here and we're gonna see these chairs, patio chairs, come into the door. I have the door open. The floor inside is not finished, but that's okay. And I haven't said what the structure is yet. It looks like it's kind of an atrium with all these windows going on around it. And they are in keeping with the same style of the rest of the home. We're gonna come over here. Everything is gonna be the same, except for over here, we're not gonna have grass. This floor or this tile is gonna continue into this area. We'll have some trees, probably the same way we've got these trees over here, um, except for these ones over here will be in pots. And we will have all of this as white tile and then probably a table and some chairs in the middle so they can have tea out there. But like I already said, we are on the ballroom side of the home. And if we come in here, we can see the teaser, but in keeping with the rest of the home, this wall slides out. And what we have here is an elevator shaft. The elevator goes down to the basement and then we have a staircase. There's the man door and a staircase that, yep, that's hard to see because I continue to build, um, but I do have some still pictures. Um, and let me reach over here and grab the elevator so we can kind of see. And actually, I'll probably throw some still pictures in at this point too. elevator there's the mechanism that you use to or the lever that you use to operate the elevator to make it go up and down it's got a clock 
it is going to have a light. I'll, I'll run the wiring into it because this type of wiring is so flexible and easy that that's going to be really, should be pretty easy to connect that. But here's the rest of the elevator. We've got a little, little bench in there. There's our floor. And then we've got windows. And we've got windows just on two sides of the elevator, which when this elevator goes into the shaft, um, those windows will line up with these windows right here. And then the windows on this side as well. And the feet on the elevator, I don't know, and they're not really feet and they're not really wheels, but um, I can't, you can't put um, something like this directly against the other bricks because it will bind up. But you also can't have a one thick, so my finger would represent you know, this, the brick, you can't have that much distance between the wall because then this would just kind of like shake all over the place as it's going up and down. So I figured a good compromise, which is to equally s spread the, the, the elevator sliding up and down the elevator shaft like this with these half pieces that stick out on the front and the back. Now, where they're located right now um, is a problem because the elevator was built before this was, but um, these are gonna drag against the window. So I, I do need to relocate them, um, but that's how I, uh, and they're gonna have some put on the top as well. And that's what's gonna keep the elevator, hopefully, in theory, um, gliding up and down the elevator shafts uh, with, without binding. Um, or getting jammed. I did put windows so you can see clear through the home. So the wall right here that separates the elevator shaft from the stairwell is glass as well. Everything is, is mirrored. Um, and I did that on purpose so that you could still see through. And honestly, I don't see why that couldn't have been done back in the day. Back in these days, these elevators were a work of art. Um, to have something like this was very unique. So people wanted to really show them off. Um, and my son even echoed that this is a great example of showing off your wealth um, by building this whole wing of the house that's just dedicated to an elevator. But in reality, it's just because I decided I wanted one. Um, and I didn't show, I didn't take a lot of pictures. I took some pictures when the house was built down here, when we were starting down here, but really to get this, this to connect to the house, um, I had to tear into it. And there was a lot of, you know, cracking and um, this whole side of the house was cracked and the walls were peeled back. And um, I just didn't want to show up looking like that. So that's where I continued to build the house to where we're at and I think a good stopping point where we can still see down there, I can still get inside of here. Um, and really we can reach in um, and even when the house is complete, probably in 50 years from now, um, you can still reach in because this wall is open access and you can see down the house all the way down there um, and some of the detail walkway arches coming from the main hallway into this part of the home. The floor, I can't remember if I mentioned the floor or not, but it's obviously not done. Um, still pondering that in my head, but these doors, I just have them open, but they work really, they operate very nicely. Um, okay. I don't 
don't think I've forgotten any details over here. So let's continue along the driveway, which is now done. Now, just a refresher, this is just considered rock. I mean, at this point, it's just going to be rock. And I'm going to leave it like that. I have no intention um, on changing that. Um, I think it is in keeping because if you look at a lot of these older homes, they have um, gravel driveways like this. So, But you'll also notice at this point that this big white wall, which is on the back of the house as well, this is the front and it's now finished. And between this wall and this build right here, my once, my once large tub of white Legos is completely gone. And I just realized I forgot that I wanted to show this wall right here um, that goes on the inside. If you notice, there's only one column that's decorative right here. And that matches the columns that are decorative with inside the elevator shaft. The columns and even the columns there in the stairwell to the basement. And that is because these outer edges end up getting tucked in this corner so you don't see it. And then this wall right here in between these windows lines up with this wall. So everything works out quite nicely as far as that goes. Um, another detail I absolutely love is this piece of the home and how that little outcropping just adds so much. And then the dental work there. I wanted something to stand out. I didn't want it all gold. So symmetry. Okay, and as we come along here, here we are with the light strand that's continued from the bottom of there that's lighting up that, the fountain. Um, comes through here. We're going to light up these flower beds. Yes, here's the other part of the green that's been done in front of the home. This was more me just kind of tinkering and messing around. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it, what's going to be done. But again, all symmetry. Everything is the exact same on both sides. And maybe I'll throw some still pictures in at this point as well. Um, this needs some flowers, but I love how um, like I was coming out with pieces where I can step around these pieces and it's just really, really neat. Um, originally, this fountain here was going to be right here. So when you're coming down the driveway, you'd have to go around the front, I'm sorry, around the fountain, come up here, drop your, your the driver would drop their guests off, and then you would continue down the driveway and park over here. Um, but I decided I think it's better just to have a nice, smooth drive all the way down. Now... I'm not 100% sold on how this looks or even how the flower beds look, um, but I do want the fountain lit up as well. So somehow the wiring for the lights needs to come over here and light the, light the fountain up and continue back over there. Um, I could decide to make this just a flower bed, I don't know. Um, but the red flowers that have been a staple of this house, the entryway for I think seven years, um, have been moved and they fit very nicely in front of this corner decorative piece on both sides of the home. We're going to continue over here to the servant side of the home where I envision some barn, some barn, some animals, maybe a small barn. But I also feel like I need to add a dumbwaiter to the house. Um, and that is what I'm figuring is going to be right here. I kind of put this brick here to make sure that I didn't continue on. Um, 
building the house. That's that's where I need to make sure if anything needs to be done to the home now um, or before I continue building up, up higher, it needs to be done now. So that's where if I were to do, dump, if I were to do the dumb waiter, it would be um, part of this pull out wall and then as well as this wall right here. So the dumb waiter would have sections that would pull out with the wall. Um, let's continue here to another change. Um, I shouldn't say change so much as it's been finalized. Um, several videos ago, several years ago, I had mentioned that I wanted a staircase to come down from here and continue to this side of the home. But I realized that, and I should go back to the other side, I've added several little details like this to the home. I realized, what would be the point? Why would a guest or even, you know, the owner of the home why would they want to come from this door and then go down these stairs? You know, the owner, of first off, would, would have other ways to get out there, and guests wouldn't really want to go that, out there anyhow. Not, not the kind of guests that would be at this home. So let's continue down here. This is just open because I haven't built. Um, it's going to be a removable wall, and it hasn't been built yet. Um, but... What was that? Oh, the, the details. Yeah, right there. If you look at the detail on these columns. Oh, we got a close-up of that. If that dog was real, it'd be yapping at me because it's a small one. And then the same detail over here. The little dental pieces right there. All right, as far as the interior of the home, we'll start here in the library. Um, there's not been a lot of progress because all of my work has been focused on this over here. Um, and there's a little stair now that we can see. This comes up and there's a little lip right there that drops you down, come around. And the pieces they have nowadays, look at how I could make that angle there. That's just... That's just really neat. And really how this stair right here, um, it comes down there. And then anyways, let me angle this. And then it comes down over here as well. So that's really cool. The chairs are not anchored down yet, but they will be. Let's come over here to the library and check out the fireplace that's on level number two. Um, let me see if I can get in here and get a better, better angle. Yeah. The clock, the book, uh, the beginning of the bookcase over there. Um, oh, this light keeps getting pulled out. It's because I wrapped all these cords up for the video because they become obnoxious. But the fireplace is lit up. And look at that cool tile. Yeah, I absolutely love that tile work. And that thing just fits in there so nicely and snug. I will have a chair here. I've probably mentioned this several times in other videos, but there's going to be a chair there to read a book. Have a nice crackling fire right there. And then the other change, which is very minor, is over here to this part of the home. Let's take this wall out. It's just to these these side windows, this decorative piece. You know, an old home like this would have had um, those nice stained glass pieces, whether they're inside the house or outside the home. So there's that. Another part of the room that's actually been finished too, well, not completely over here because the wall's not done, but is this uh, dental detail going along here. And then these little tassels that go around the room will be, and will be in all four corners. That's another detail that I really, really like in this room. Yeah, we have all of these lanterns. Um, one detail that I really do like is, you know, this would have been 
like a type of brass or an iron for, for the railing. Um, and I'm gonna melt the center of the home with, right now it's white, but it is gonna have that same um, brass look. For the front, let's put this back. For the front of the home to melt the center of it, and we're gonna have that same detail back here um, off these doors right here. So these lights will need to be moved. Um, but okay, I'm gonna throw some still pictures in. Um, I don't think, yeah, I think we've covered everything. Okay, all right, well, thanks you guys.